Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to add your recorder to your network. Now, in order to do this, the recorder needs to have an IP address to identify itself. There are two ways you can do this, with a static IP address or a dynamic IP address. A static IP address is assigned by the user manually and you need to know the network's IP address information in order to add the device successfully. However, what we're going to concentrate on in this video is using a dynamic IP address instead by enabling something on your recorder called DHCP. Once enabled, your recorder will automatically request an IP address from your router, which will then automatically assign one that's available. So there's no need for you to enter anything manually to add your recorder to the network. So starting from the main menu, we'll go to network, then TCP IP, click on modify, and enable DHCP so the recorder can automatically obtain an IP address from your router. Make sure you hit OK and then apply. We then recommend going back to the live view and waiting approximately 30 seconds to allow some time for the changes to take effect. If we want to check that our recorder has now acquired an IP address, we can right click to go back to the main menu and into network again. And there are a number of details we can look at to check. We can see that the IP address here matches the IP address here. And the default gateway, etc., all confirm that the recorder is now getting its IP address from the router. And if that wasn't enough, it literally says DHCP as the mode it's using. So as you can see, the router is now automatically assigning the recorder an IP address.